Real Sneakerheads. This is our first episode, you know. I'm Tevin. My name is Rashad, and we're here with our first guest. We got Twan the Guy. Got Jazzy Jeff. Yes, sir. Yeah. Before we start that, can y'all introduce yourself? What do y'all do? Who are you? Uh, you're surely one Jazzy Jeff. Y'all already see the shirt. If Jazzy ain't DJ and I ain't going. Number one oh, DJ wow. in the state of Florida. Oh, wow. Not probably in the world. You might have heard of me before. Hit me up on that IG at one Jazzy Jeff. Twitter, Jazzy underscore Jeff 305. Gang. What happened to the previous Jazzy Jeff? I don't know what that is. Never heard of you him. You don't know him? You don't know him? <laughs> oh, I, never, I never heard of that guy. <laughs> never, I, I don't know what you guys are referring to. Anyways, you already know who it is. It's your boy Twan the Guy, aka Mr. Twan Gon' Vibe. For a lot of those finest, you already know, number one DJ in, in, the, the, state, in the city of Tallahassee. Oh, wow. You know, I run it. So we're going to let people know how it is. What about Wavy? Well, <laughs> I know I'm Wavy, you feel me? But sheesh. <laughs> That's how we do it. That's how we introduce ourselves. Yes, sir. Anale. Let's go. All right. So let's hit y'all boys with a couple questions to start it off. All right. A couple. Yeah. Let's get to, let's get to know you real quick. Let's get to know you real quick. Oh, I'm let's about to say, you see that list? list. All right. Ready. So what was your first sneaker you ever copped? Like with my own money? With your own money. With your own money. In 2011, um, Olympic Jordan USA 5s. Trash. Oh, right. what? Trash. You, you it was know clean. Know no, it was Come yeah, on, it's, it's good It was clean. It was Olympic with Kobe, uh, Braun, D-Wade. Hey, at least your first pair was Jays. That's yeah, what I'm saying. I'll, I'll that you caught yourself. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, about, okay. We, we talking about we caught ourselves. I mean, you, yeah. you was in the factory with What's Jordan. <laughs> you know you have, <laughs> how old you are. Mine was the, the fives, the royal blue and white fives. I don't know what they called them. So Haitians like fives, all right? We don't, we don't stick with Haitians like oh, fives. what? <laughs> you know, our area code it starts with a that's, five or nine. That's before, oh, that's before everybody started like buying drawers. You could get them easily with no pressure. OK, cool. I'll give you that. All right. Was that like 98? You old. Let me stop. Let me stop. How old is Jazzy Jeff? Let's figure that 21. out. 21. <laughs> 21. Times five. Watch out. All right. It's dog years? <laughs> all right. So. No shoe? What you mean? What was you your first shoe? Oh, my bad. Come on. Oh, what you pro- mean? First pair of shoes I ever got was Fire Red Force. Okay. I was back, back in the days. Like, that was like, I was probably like in elementary school. And you bought them? I saved my like money the 70s. for them. I saved all, all my money. I, said, I told my sister I needed them. She went and got cotton for me. Mm, okay. I respect okay. that. I respect that. All right. Well, I'm going to break the trend. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I ain't get no J's. You got some shacks. Uh, he grew up in a true Jamaican <laughs> household. Hey, Swiss? True Jamaican household. Phoenix? Sacconis. Sacconis. My first Clarks. shoes that I bought were in college, mm-hmm. and it was the Dolphin LeBron 10s. Oh, okay. okay. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. That's solid. Those, those, those hard. Those hard. I kept them for like five years. That's solid. Five years. years. What, 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 yeah. what you went through, war? I kept them. You went through war? Those shoes with the orientation. Bro, All right. I went through basketball class. Bro, wow. All right. Let's, let's, let's speed up the questions, make it a little bit harder for them. All right. Go ahead and mark. How do you feel like music contributes to sneakers and how sneakers contribute to music? I mean, personally, for me, I mean, sneakers and music is just the culture. Everybody know when you step into the, like, if you're an artist or a DJ, when you step into the scene, you know, your shoe game got to be on point. If you, like, if girls see you or if people see you in the crowd with a bad shoe game, they think you would try as DJ. You know, you got to be, you got to be a stepper, you okay. know, everything like that. So I feel like it's the, it's the culture in itself. All right. Yeah, I'm going to agree. I'm also, like, piggyback and say as far as, like, the, the music industry has a lot of influence as far as like, you know, the shoes that we decide to also buy. So if, you know, let's say J. Cole's wearing a certain type of Jordans, you see him in the video, you're going to be like, well, shit, if I wear these Jordans, I probably could rap like J. Cole. Mm-hmm. Not to say that you could rap like J. Cole, but just <laughs> it puts that into your mind. So like so. the idea like, oh, if I buy these Michael Jordan shoes, I'm going to play like Michael Jordan. Pretty much, yeah. Like, like, okay. I want to be like Mike. All right. Y'all have DJs for like artists as, as well, like who've come to Tallahassee or other lo- locations as well. Mm-hmm. What is the flyest pair of shoes y'all have seen? For I know me, most of them be rocking forces though. Yeah, but uh, when I DJ for Lil Baby during FAU Homecoming, he had on um, some Chanel shoes. It was tough because he had, he came from the BET Hip Hop Awards. Ah, so he was already stepping off the plane fresh. I'm going to say that shoes that Kodak wore for FAMU Homecoming that same year. Oh, that was tough. That when was he, tough. With, this, with the red suit. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that was tough. Oh, yeah, yeah. When first, first day out? Oh, yeah. yeah. Those are hard. He lit the whole arena up with those. Mm-hmm. I mean, other than that, yeah. I mean, it all depends on the area that you're in, because sometimes, sometimes rappers come out, they dress fly, as far as like you know, with with a suit on, button down, and some some clean shoes. Sometimes they just come in sneakers. 
Um, you know, it really just kind of depends on the atmosphere. I mean, you know, young boy coming as is. Young <laughs> <laughs> boy coming, coming as is. Tank coming from the tank top. <laughs> Jeans, forces. Okay. And a belt. That's it. And a belt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might not. I never, seen, yeah. I never seen a rapper wear a belt. All right. So let's let's get a little bit deeper. Let's let's ask some questions about actual sneakers out there and like people who have you know sneaker deals. All right. So they've been presenting these J Cole sneakers. Right. Are you a fan? I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan of these shoes though. I'm personally. I'm a. I'm not a Puma fan. Okay. So there's no disrespect to them or anything like that. So I haven't really seen the. Sh- I've seen the shoe, but I'm not really like a oh, jump on it. Like you feel me? I support it because J Cole, one of my favorite artists. But it's, I'm not a fan of Puma. In this well, year. you see how Puma's making this big comeback right now mm-hmm. with the basketball, right? And then now they're <laughs> trying to steal, you know, like some artists and whatnot. I mean, and overall, in this per- in the perspective, it's just like I don't think nobody gonna jump over the jump, man. I don't think nobody gonna. Yeah. It's always checks over stripes. You feel me? So it's just like Puma can make that run. But it's just like Nike and Jordan running the game no matter what. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna make the impact that they think they're gonna make. But you know, they're 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 gonna do better as far as like sales wise than they've been doing over the past yeah. years. But I don't think they're gonna make the the impact that they think they're gonna make. Cause like he says, Jordans. So, all right, cool. Will you rock them? Nope. No. I'm letting you know. You got them for free. Nope. Will you hooping them? Nope. Oh, she can't shoot. <laughs> no, like, bro, y'all don't understand. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You said free? <laughs> it don't matter, bro. But he's like, DJing for free. It don't matter, bro. But what if you're getting a check to DJ him? Oh, yeah. Then we, we talking business. Well, yeah, okay. but it's just right. like Puma, like, so, bro. So the shoes are strapped with no Pumas. It's, it's just like, I'm not, not a Puma trash. fan. It's like, okay, when you, like, for instance. Say so you rock Adidas? May, I wear Adidas sweats, not shoes. Okay. I wear Adidas. Adidas. Yes. You ain't never had the shell toed? No. I've had them once. Oh, I, you do rock Adidas then. That was like, eh. Right. Adidas for $50, boy. You can so, get some nice ones. Man. Like let's, stick, let's stick to the Nike question. Let's go ahead right. and with that other Nike question. All right. Whew. All right, so with the Nike, staying on that same thread, mm-hmm. who do you think made Air Force Ones popular? ASAP Rocky or Nelly? First of all, I'm not a fan of ASAP Rocky, so that's out the window already. What that boy got locked up and everything. That's his business. He got locked up from himself. I'm just not a fan of him. I'm not a fan of him, bro. I'm not a. I'm not a fan of him. I'm keeping it G. First of all, Air Force One. The song itself is iconic. Okay. Give me two. Yeah, it's easy, Nelly. Per. Per. <laughs> come on, man. Like, come on. No cap. I didn't know Aesop Rocky had a song. You feel me? He didn't have a song. The thing is, he just rocks them all the time. Yeah. He rocks the high oh. top, and that's that's. What, I'll give it that the white community is embracing Air Force Ones now. The, the high, high top, top? The high top pairs. First of all, you wear high top forces, you out the door. And the thing is, it's strapped. It's not no strap. No strap. It's strapped. Oh, no, see, you <laughs> tight, out the door. tight game <laughs> locked up. Come on, man. Like, we you don't gonna, do that. You going to rob him, boy. Okay. We don't do that. I got to give it to Nelly. Hands down. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. It's the Hands song, down. bro. He drop a bomb it. on it. I feel like everybody got it. You could have got your influence from anybody, but the first time you heard Air Forces and wanted a pair, had to be Nelly something. Had to be. Okay. It was actually for them back then. Spray paint, swap shop, and everything. Spray paint. I never yeah. heard that. Oh, yeah. Where are you what, from? The swap? I, 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 I thought heard he was from out of there. I heard it a fake one. I thought it was right. like, like out in the yard. Like they having a yard sale. You going to grab you some fake forces. I thought you for the 20. Swap. So, question. Y'all had to see see through forces before? No, I ain't. Nah. nah. I don't got cute feet. What? Ain't no dadas? With the socks? Ain't no dadas? With the NBA socks? I don't got cute feet, bro. Oh, here we go. I can afford them. I had shacks. Everybody's fly now. My mama bought me shacks. Tough. I had a pair of Shaq. He's trying to say. Tough. Hey, Shaq, y'all got to commission. Shaq I respect. said, I'm going to make shoes that everybody, everybody can buy. Exactly. I respect, he made a I re- that looked like Jordan. <laughs> First of all, I, was, I respect Shaq's hustle. I had the a dunk pair wins. in middle school. The dunk wins. In middle school? <laughs> but they were out the door. That was a 73. Yeah. 73. Yo. Next question. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about his age. You want to talk about his age. Cool, 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 cool. cool. <laughs> What is your favorite major music sneaker shoe? So, like, we have, like, the Air Force Ones, as we were just yeah. discussing. You know, the Air Max 95s. Dope Boy 95. Exactly. We okay. got the Shell Toes. 
Yeah. Shell toes are iconic. That's his time, though. I, oh, sheesh. <laughs> that's your time. Sheesh. 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 You led him. You led him into the question. <laughs> So all right, I'm 21. Times <laughs> five. So out of those three, those are like the major ones. I'll mm-hmm. give it. I'll give it to them. All right. Out of those three, what goes down as the best music sneaker? Forces. Over shell toes. Like shell toes. Like you when, you. when you see a pair of shell toes, you're like, all right. Shell toes. Run DMC. I, I get. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I give shell toes its credit, no matter what. I give shell toes its credit because it started the game. But what I grew up on. Is the forces? I ain't grow up on ninety fives. I have ninety fives, but I grew up on forces. Like I always have to have a pair of forces in my closet. Okay. You feel me? Is yeah, it's definitely it's, forces. For it's me. definitely forces. It's definitely forces. What you saying? Is so yeah. black forces too? Well, all right. Back, back then. <laughs> I'm, gonna give, I'm, gonna give, I'm gonna give it to everybody. Back then. Back then. <laughs> High school, middle school, elementary back, school. Back then. I was a black force <laughs> wearer. <world. laughs> Back I would, then, oh. Twan got silver teeth. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, dentist, go put my mouth. I had black forces. I was one of those kids, but I got white forces now. Oh, sheesh! I gotta go. I give, I give the credit to ninety fives and shell toes, but he's like, bro, you can wear forces with anything. See, for me, it gotta be the shell toes because. Just when it comes to the impact on the culture, like mm-hmm. when that song came out, it was like I was five years oh, old. No man, he was at, he was at prom. <laughs> he was at prom. <laughs> he was at prom. Ready? <laughs> it's say two, 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 It's tricky, <laughs> bro. That's what made people see like, yo, we can sell shoes through artists. You know what right. I mean? Yeah, I get you. So that kind of blew that whole thing up and let people who came after even had that chance. So I get that. When it comes to the impact on the culture, it gotta be the shelter. So so for me, I'm giving it to the 95s uh-huh. because the you, boys. when I'm in the club and I hear, <laughs> that's <laughs> all. Yeah, man. So I don't care to. what I'm doing. I don't care how, how intoxicated I may be. Allegedly. I'm going vibe. As a whole song. Oh, yeah, that song go to. hard. I'm then you got to run it back. Yeah. As soon as I part drop, you got to run it back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that song. As Jeezy did his thing with that. Bro, right. It's a whole different feeling you get. When you you know hear that song, and it's like honestly, I, I started wearing ninety fives because of that song. I be, I agree. I I bought my first one at most ninety fives because I heard that song. I was like, all right, let me go check them out. Mm-hmm. I was like, well, those great ninety fives are pretty dope. Yeah, let me go trade these shoes for them. I agree. I yeah. can respect that. I can definitely respect that. All right, so moving it forward, we know y'all both big Jay Z fans, right? Yeah, definitely. Did y'all cross? Ever wear the Sean Carter's when they came out never. when y'all was younger? Did you ever own a pair? Did you want a pair? Never. I wanted a pair. I never so will you rock a pair now? Yeah. For free. Oh, no, I'll, no, I'll rock behind the DJ. No, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I Jeff wear, is the cheapest person I've ever met. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> no, 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 no. I wear a pair of Sean Carter's because, like, me personally, I don't care what anybody tells me. Okay. So I wear them for me. You feel me? If they fight, they fight. If they fight, they fight. It depends on also the fit too. You know, if I'm vibing or something like that, or if I'm stepping out, it all depends on how I wear it, you know? Okay. So, I definitely need a pair of Sean Carter's. I know I had me a pair of Sean Carter's. It's dots. And I still have them shits today, because I'm sure you can flip them shits. Some. All right. I wanted, I wanted a pair of Sean Carter's. <laughs> but at that point in time, I was too young to get a pair of Sean Carter's. They was giving me them Reeboks, some Air Forces. That's all I wore to school. That was the that was the trend. Yeah. yeah. Reeboks and Air Forces. So wait, K-Swiss, it, it K-Swiss, in, K-Swiss. Well, you gotta go back, but right. it's the shell the toes. Bro- the Brooklyn Knights, oh, that's what wow. he wore. Yeah, yeah, the spree wheels. The BKs. Oh, you talking about me? It's a Starberries? Nah. Starberries? Yeah, the Starberries and the Spreewells. I had the Reeboks. The Reebok Classics. I had the white pair and the black pair. The nurse Reeboks. You wear with the Dickie suit? Oh, yeah, you snap. Wow. Come on, You thugging it. Dickie store right across on 63rd Street Mall. You what's up? No, I had me some G-Units, though, with the tank top. I had, wow. I had a tank top. I had a tank top. I had a tank top. I ain't had no G unit Honestly, shoes. that was a good point. We had it. We had to mention fifty. Fifty had to get I had a tank top. Fifty had to get. I had a tank top. I had a tank top. Tuan, you had a lot of. You had a Jordan tank top. That was the first time I've seen a Jordan tank top. Really? It was hard. bro. Big logo in the middle, man. Radar right in the chest. Yeah, the Birdman looks too. Huh? Don't even try to like that. All right. So now we're going to do a versus, all right? All right, bet. Rapid fire for you. All right, so we're going to do 
Jeff, you're still ugly. No matter <laughs> how you look at the camera, bro. Kind of has That boy greasy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do um, Beyonce versus Rihanna. Shoe-wise. 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 Career-wise, we already know who got that. That's, but shoe-wise. Yeah, career-wise, are we... With career, are we... No, just every, shoes. Just all right, shoes. All right, all right. No, we, no makeup, no other outside are we gonna businesses. Are we going to leave that alone? We're going to leave that alone. We're going to leave that alone. So we're just doing straight shoes. All right, bet. Rihanna's first pair of shoes was trash. Mm -hmm. Them little exercise shoes. Right. My mom got a pair of them. Yeah, I understand. Old <laughs> women love them shoes. <laughs> but this next pair of shoes that she dropped, the little um, the, the, Platform the platforms, nice. those were tough. I'll give her that. And I think she beats out Beyonce. Beyonce's shoes was kind of just like, they're just a pair of another Adidas for me. What do you think, Jazzy? I'm going with Beyonce. Them women went crazy when they first dropped. He's staying on the safe they side. Went, they they went the crazy side. when they first. <laughs> I mean, staying on the safe side. The ladies I, fast. <laughs> I go, I go where we are. I'm not even with the beehive. I mean, I, <laughs> black is king is trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm gonna get a hot take. Hot take. Don't get attacked. You know, uh -huh. Black is king is trash. Don't get attacked now. I mean, I go where we are. I go where we are. Okay. You feel me? I mean, I have this. I, Hey, her hey. slides was tough. Her slides was tough. Good. Yeah, her Definitely. slides. Men's was, was, was wearing her slides. Who? Men's was wearing her Shut slides. The, the same people that rock um rock with NBA Youngboy was wearing her slides. And we, we gonna need that for. <laughs> 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 Beyonce. I say, for me, it's the um, it's the Rihanna Puma. All right. I wanted a pair. I don't even think they came in men. The platforms, right? Yeah. They just got. They had really big sizes. Like I had need like a size thirteen woman, and I would have rocked. You would have been kicking down doors. <laughs> 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 I would have rocked. My sister got a pair. I'm like, damn. The tough. That gray suede was. Now they they gas. They had a burgundy one. That burgundy one the was burgundy. The one that you can never find. Yeah, burgundy was tough. They gas. I, All I, right, so next one. This is gonna be interesting. Kanye or Jay Z? I gotta go Kanye. Yeah. Which one? Nike and Adidas. Let's do two. Let's do Kanye with the Nike first. Yeah. Of course. Off it. Kanye. Mm -hmm. Red October. Red October. Okay. Off back. Kanye. All the way. All the way. All right. Pre Nike then. Let's talk about when he was with Supra. That's tough because a lot of people don't know about yeah, the Supra shoes. Yeah, I know about the Supra. He had the Supras and he had the Louis Vuittons. Yeah, the Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Gas. Louis Vuitton. Off Vuitton. back. Yeah. All right. Cool. Off, I'm go I got to go Kanye because Kanye is a... He's that's he's big he in fashion. Yeah, that's he's what he's doing. Right. So it's just he's like he gonna go into he gonna go in the depth with shoes. You know what? We are gonna bring Kanye back since that he like goes down as a goat for shoes wise. Exactly. We're gonna bring Kanye right. back. So he put that. So let's 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 get that one because mm -hmm. Kanye clearly beats Jay Z on that one. Yeah, because Jay dropped right. one. Jay Jay dropped one and it was just like. Mm. Okay. So you me? let's do Drake versus Travis Scott. I'm say Travis. Scott. I got three pairs of Travis Scott. Yeah, I'm gonna say Travis Scott. Yeah, hey, I don't know Twan. Every time you hit on those Travis Scott's, I was a little bit upset. Like, For what? Like, he got I, a box. He got a bunch of boxes <laughs> or something, bro. What? He got like seven people on the computer. Hey, y'all nah, boys, get I serve my faithful and loyal Jesus. I Jesus promise Christ. you, he got a little like, baby at Nike. He got a little baby at Nike that he... <laughs> oh, really? Yo, yo, these shoes coming out? Nah. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> mad. Not. Everybody mad except to him. He's like, right. got him. Got him. <laughs> got, him. <laughs> got him. But nah, I got I to gotta go to Travis. Travis, the Ch uh, Travis Scott fours. Both the high top and low top ones. ones yeah, the sixes, those are hard. Right, so, which one you say? I'm giving it to Drake just because the OVO tens. The OVO tens was. I like was the tough. I like the OVO eights. All oh, black ones is kind of tough. I like the white OVO tens. And then the um, he has the Kentucky ones. Kentucky. They had Kentucky eights. Kentucky eights. Those are guys too. Yeah. The lim the the limited edition is the fact that the reason I could go with Drake too because of the fact that nobody has them. So like if I was to pull out OVO eights, people ain't really. It's a flex. It's a, it's a, it's a, like I ain't people, 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 people got Travis Scott. Like I've seen right. people with Travis Scott ones. Yeah, everything. Yeah, you're right. All right so the market OVOs. is flooded with fake Travis Scotts. Right. Exactly. And I got a pair of fakes. <laughs> His whole veneers is fake. Forty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Swap shop. So, I don't think Drake shoes are hard enough though. They, I feel like Travis Scott really put some like thought into all it. Like every drop he had had some thought into it. So it, it plays back into the conversation between Jay and um, Kanye. But I'm trying to say like it's quantity versus you know quality. Well, right? But then that's what's gonna make people like to shoot more, just because it's less of it out there. It's like oh I like that because I can't get that. But that's exactly. that's, that's, that's what I'm true. talking about with the, the Drakes. Mm -hmm. You don't right. see them that often. But the thing about with they're both Jordan brand. But the mm -hmm. thing about with uh, 
Travis is the same thing with Kanye. They're very stylish. They're out. Like, the colors are just out of there and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. Travis Scott Forge, that, that Houston Oiler Blue, I didn't see no shoe like that. Okay. That's like the Patone 11s. Right. But now we got the OVO 8s. It's like a regular black or, white shoe. black or white shoe with a little sprinkle of gold. You feel me? <laughs> so it's like, I OVO sound. It don't, do nothing. It don't hit as hard. It yeah. don't hit as hard, but the, uh, lim the fact that it's limited and inaccessible, it makes you want to get it. So I think what we're going to do is put Travis, Kanye, and Virgil all in one category and say we got to pick one. Right now. We got to pick one right now. The reason why I go, wait, are we including Kanye, Nike, Supra? All of Kanye. All of Virgil. I, I go Kanye. Yeah, yeah. I go Kanye. Yeah. I go, Kanye. I go, Kanye. I go, I go Kanye. Uh, Kanye kicked it off. Kanye kicked it off for, not to say black, uh, sneaker stylist, but it was just like he broke out the game from Supra, then went to um, and then broke out the game with Louis Vuitton Don that made everybody want to get on it. Yeah, I remember Lil Wayne got Supras too, right? But nobody knew about Supra because of Lil Wayne. No, but everybody knew about Supra because it like there was nobody going to the store and be like, I want Supra because Lil Wayne got Supras. Well, it's because Kanye, you know, he's known as for fashion, but Lil Wayne has, yeah, you know, I know I agree with that, but it's just like the influence of the of the brand. What's because of Kanye? Okay, I give you that. Right. So now, when it comes to Red October, uh, Red October Yeezys, ain't nobody. There's, that's a shoe. Like if you put it on the table against Travis Scott ones, and you put it against um, Off White uh, UNC ones, what are you gonna go get? I got you. I got I'm you. gonna go get them. I'm gonna go get them Red Octobers yeah, off I'm that. Red Octobers. Right. Yeah, that's a color that nobody. It's literally. I think. Because he has. Slides. <laughs> Well, the, uh, the sides are tough. The sides are tough. Which slides? The, 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 the easy slides. The ones he just dropped? Yeah. The shells? Easy. The one that look like gel shoes. Oh, no. The gel slip offs. Yeah, I'm just kind of hard. Look, I couldn't I do it. Like, yeah, they do look hard. comfortable. That's one. They, they look like the Mario shells. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, bro. They're too, like, concrete. They're probably soft. You look like you're doing a 10 to 15. <laughs> okay. Tell me, what's, you, what's your pick? So I'm picking Kanye. Hands down, uh, just because I wear 350s and I love 350s. Like, I can wear them every day. I can mm -hmm. go to school in them. I can go to work in them. I can play. Well, oh, I want to play basketball in them, but yeah, you, you, you like your angles. I, I just might one day. Them, they're comfortable. I will go to Disney World in them all day because they're like dad shoes to me now. They're comfortable. Yeah, I agree. I got to be Virgil. I said it enough. I'm it again. It's Virgil for me. For why? Just because of the allure, like what what Kanye West is doing now is kind of like what he's doing with Retro Jordans. Like he's flooding the market. Like he's just like, okay, everybody want a pair, everybody. But that, yeah, he's doing that with forces basically. Was but, Air right. Force Ones. But the thing about what Kanye was, he started out where the same thing with what Virgil was doing, because like when he was with Nike, it was limited. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people didn't have Nike Yeezys, but of course now because he has a bigger stake in Adidas. Of course, I'm gonna flood the market. I need that bread at the end of the day. Well, I'm saying like he's doing it to make the shoe a staple. Because if you remember a point in time, well, it's basically what they're doing right now as well. But if you remember a point in time when Air Force Ones were everywhere, everyone had a pair of Air Force Ones. Right. They just blew them out. But the thing is now, if you go try to buy a pair of Air Force Ones like right before back to school, school they'd be missing. Yeah, them. not so, for you. But remember, we got to bring it back to what we were saying. It was like if you had this versus this versus that, right? Mm -hmm. What was it, Kanye? Travis, Travis and, and Virgil. Virgil. Yeah. If I had a pair of Kanye, some Yeezys, some Travis Scott Fours, and some Off Whites, I'm getting the Off Whites. Yeah, that's yeah that. But like, we both. But when we talk about what we talk about, when their whole impact on it. Well, it's just how you see them fit. Because like, I look at it and I'm like, I can see comfort in a pair of Yeezys. Oh yeah, comfort definitely. And that's what I say. Like, I'm trying on a pair of Off Whites. I'd rather have. The, it, right? There's so many right. pairs of three right. fifties I can just try on. Like, I can have a different fit. And I can just be comfortable each and every single day. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm not the biggest fan of Yeezys in general, but I really care for comfort in shoes. I agree. All right, who was on that for a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> who was on that for a little minute? That's but a tough topic. Let's roll to the last verses real quick. All right. Sheesh. Pharrell's uh, versus Tyler the Creator. First of all, Shoot. no beef. Tyler the Creator is very weird. 
So it is weird. So I gotta go with I gotta go with four other NMDs. He's right, himself because he made a shit. He's, he's himself. Him. I give him what you see is what you get. I give him his credit for getting the deal and everything. <laughs> I'm not opposed to it, but the man, all right, okay. is weird. So well, Kanye is weird. Kanye is weird. Kanye is weird. Kanye is weird. He is. Well, now he's weird. He wasn't always weird. But Kanye okay, fresh. Okay. Um. With the big polo. Yeah. That boy used to be slick. So what you saying? I'm, yeah, I'm going. No, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why you said you I'm trying to trick me, bro? <laughs> Pharrell. He was going to be like, yeah, man, Tyler. I got the Pharrell. Like, Pharrell made Adidas cool. All right. So I'm the biggest Pharrell fan you'll ever see. I still listen to old school uh, Pharrell okay. all the time. Clips. Pretty much. Yeah, like, Mr. Me too. So U- um, U.S. places? Relax. Um, oh, yo. Relax. <laughs> relax. 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 So situation is. I will rock anything Pharrell puts out there. All right, respect. So them NMDs got a pair in the closet just because it's Pharrell. 268 retail. Mm. I remember one. Yeah. I remember one. Really. No, no, no. They 400. He said, depending on which colorway. He said, he said, don't disrespect him like sorry. that. Sorry. So, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> <laughs> they, they went up a buck. They went up one folding. Don't disrespect him like that, man. They went up one folding. Don't disrespect him like that. I got it for two city. Yeah. I got it like the holiday pack, the little okay. tie dye pack. Okay. It was solid, the black pair. Mm-hmm. They started going a little crazy towards the end, though. The little patchwork stuff. And like, uh, like once they got away from the Chinese letters, they started doing all those other ones. Yeah, right? exactly. Um, when they started doing, <laughs> when they did their, what was it? Um, yeah, the billionaire was, breed, oh not billionaire breed, uh, the billionaire boys club mm-hmm. mix. Yeah. And I was just like, I, I can't, I can't rock that one. It's like too many colors on it. You guys had a solid thing going at first when they was just dropping solid colors like the yellow, blue, mm-hmm. right? And it was like, oh, I'm gonna throw a splash of purple in here. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. I agree. But then we started doing like the five, six colors. Like, oh, y'all, y'all tripping now? Yeah, I mean, it's just you gotta, you can't. They're trying to eat off the market. After, yeah, after yeah. explosion. Like, when you tap into the market, yeah. of course you want to flood the market because you know people are just gonna grab it. So right. that's Jordan ones. Right Jordan now. ones, like yeah. it's every, it's all so many, y'all that are wearing them Jordan hoop. ones. Y'all bugging. They, know drop, the they drop a new bugging. one every year. Know the history. And I love ones, but y'all bugging yeah, grabbing every single ugly Know the history <laughs> of the ones. Know like style of the ones, like how you wear the ones, everything. Don't lace them all the way to the top. Stop choking your ones. Yeah, man. <laughs> Let them breathe. Don't clog your ones when you walk in them. Like you can hear your feet. Like, come on. Know the know the style of the ones. All J's above, like under 15. Know the style. So if you could add three shoes to your personal collection right now, what shoes would they be? Go first. And why? Every- I know he's going to say bread 11s. I know. <laughs> bread 11s, the cool grays, and I need another pair of the Concords, man. You just want 11s? 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 That's on 11s? I love 11s. What's your feet smell like, kid? <laughs> I'm wearing the 12s now. They came Damn, with the breads. My bad, baby. My bad, kid. Me? Uh, ben Nye's. Ben Nines, all right. That's tough. Ben Nines. Um, any any pair of Ray Allen's collection, championship collection. So I want to say Ray Allen 11s. I know exactly. I knew you were going to say that. Ray Allen 11s. So we have Ben Nines, Ray Allen, and then Red huh. October 4th. Okay. From, um, from Kanye. I got to have those in the collection. Okay. What's yours? You want me to go first? Yeah, thank you. Air Mags, offer it. Hands down. Air Mags. I want to be like Marty McFly. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, I, I like it. I like them. I'll probably go uh, the Net Nets, the Yeezy Ones, the Tans. You're going back. Um, I'll probably hit you with, with just for the hell of it, I want some Wallaces, some Rasheed Wallace forces. forces. High tops. High tops. Boy, you gangster. High tops. Boy, you He trying to fight somebody. <laughs> <laughs> now that's at the palace, gangster. With the Rasheed. With a bad boy. Man. Some Wallaces, Pistons. man. Wait. Okay. Can I switch out? Which ones? Which one you would just switch out? <laughs> Can I switch out? I had to. All right. Take out the Ray Allen Championship 11s. Put the All-Star T-Max. I can give you that. You talking the, the you one t- that uh, Jalen Brown wore for the opening game last year? It was one red, one blue pair, one yeah, red pair. Yeah, the USA pair. Yes, uh, I need USA those pair. in the collection. T Mac is my favorite player before Brown. Okay, so I, I need those. 
All right, for me, first one off rip, Galaxy Phones. I don't care what you got to say. Two guys. Galaxy Phones. I'll be real with y'all boys. I almost sold a fake pair of Galaxy Phones back in the day. I, I needed some money. I was in high school. <laughs> oh. It is what it is. Hey, you got, you got, <laughs> you got, you got to get it how you it live. That's the sneaker culture yeah. right now. You got to get it how you live. So, I didn't sell them, but almost did. Better Galaxy than me. Galaxy Phones. I love me a pair of eights. The Dornbacher eights. Okay. I need them. You like and bulky then, shoes. Yeah. I like big ships, nigga. Big stuff. What they say? Big step, but like step big meat. Mm. 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 Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> you got one more. So I got Galaxy phones. I got my door barker ace, and then just wrap it off. Just any, church, any pair of Travis Scott ones. No low tops. Turn and trade. Any pair of Travis Scott. Okay. I'll give you that. Get. Yeah, I said trade. <laughs> Bro, I Don't say get. I owe mean, <laughs> you. I owe you. You, know. you said I owe I own the Biggest sneaker collector, music-wise, out there. Or who is? Real quick. Wrap it up. Lil Yachty. Lil Yachty. Big, biggest collector? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't even know. That's a good question. I gotta go with Lil Yachty. So, like, over-conceited? Like, conceited not really music-wise, but you know he does his little rap battles. Oh, that's what you the mean. Thing of, the thing about I'll say Fab, conceited. then. Fab. Mm. Fab, Fab, in, Fab, Fab in the game. Oh. Fab in the collection. Yeah, Fab. Yeah, I, uh, gotta go, I gotta go Fab. Gotta fab. Go. You got, fab got some heat. <laughs> I, like, the thing is, Fab wears his. Fab wears fab his. Wears you his. got Fab. You got I'm perfect. a big fan if you wearing your sneakers. You're right. Don't let them sit, man. You got you got Fab. You got Mayor. You got Conceited. You got Yachty. Yachty got some samples that... But Yachty ain't. got fake shoes. And he keeps them like they're he, real. Like He has fake shoes. He does. I, I say Yachty, like, it's just like he does. He knows his history, too. He knows his history on his shoes. Man, so. Google worked for everybody. It do, but, <laughs> but can you remember it when somebody calls it out? All right. I mean, all right, if we're gonna if we're gonna play like that, I could go either perfect I could go perfect pair. All right, I'll go. I'll, I'll let you have him. I go perfect pair. Cartel? Another one. <laughs> Khaled. You gonna go Khaled? Khaled. Khaled? Bro, Khaled has is in with everybody, bro. Well, he it, has every shoe. It could have been fat Joe. Fat Joe almost had, before Cali, Fat Joe almost yeah. had the sneaker store. Sneaker no, store. Right. Okay. But it's Cali. It's another okay. one. And another one. All right, cool. Those we the best threes are hard, though. The blue ones? Yes. Uh, I'm not a fan. It's not hard. a fan. It's a hard. You're a three fan, though. I'm a three fan. But they're hard. Not a fan of that. All right. So we got we to gotta give us a, a send off, you know? Okay. Tell the dear sneakerhead something. So, uh, dear sneakerheads. Like, like my friend said, please wear your shoes. Do not just buy shoes and leave them in the closet. Like, it, just wear your shoes, man. It's a style. It's a, tr- it's, it's the thing. You got feet. Put them on. You right. I give him that. Dear sneaker heads, take care of your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> These are about eleven years old, but they still fresh though. You can wear them, but take care of them. Clean them up. That's all, man. Your feet clean them Dear up, sneaker heads, man. man. You know how it is. See you on the next episode. It's one of the gang. <laughs> oh, my Zoom friend. generations, man. Don't y'all ain't stop, pop y'all not. Pop y'all don't that. got these right here, man. Don't stop. Pop that pot. Y'all don't got <laughs> these right here. <laughs> Yo. <laughs>